So <clears throat> we can start now. Today, uh, um, basically, we we discuss uh, how to interact with the uh, Juniper operating system. Um, it's maybe uh, it's maybe router or it's maybe uh, security devices or switches. Just. Uh, <clears throat> Just consider this is uh, your router, which is purchased from vendor. This is a MX router. Firstly, you just power on this device. This device have two different ports to initially um, connecting the device. Now, the port name is called console port console port this is one this is one console port another port is called the management port in juniper boxes the management port is called fxp or hmm, em inter em interface okay so normally fxp0 is used for management interface it's a basically a ethernet interface you just connect one ethernet interface with your pc consider it's your pc one ethernet cable this is a ethernet cable ethernet cable is connected the juniper ethernet port this port is called the management port fxp0 if you see uh, the device, device uh, have also the naming uh, beside the port. You, you can get also the name from the uh, device. <clears throat> so this is the two way. This is the basically two way you can connect console cable to initially access the device number one. Another one is management port. If this device have configured configured management IP, so you can set uh, the IP address in your PC in same subnet, then you can access the Juniper devices through the management port. If IP is not configured in management port, in that case, you cannot access through the management port. So you have only one option. This is console cable and console port. You connect the console port in your devices. Then you run one terminal software in your PC. It may be secure CRT or putty or Teratum like this. Okay. So <clears throat> firstly, when you connect with console cable, the environment will be like this. You just, I show you her one terminal software, name is Putty. So for serial connection, for serial connection, just select the serial connection and check the communication port from your pc check the communication port from your pc how to check the communication port when you connect console port in your pc you will get the communication port number you will get the communication port number just uh, go to your pc then Manage in device manager. In device manager option, there should be a console port. There should be a console port. So this PC uh, basically is not connected with any console cable that's why we uh, yet not say this so in practical 
uh, in practical, if you connect the console cable with your PC, there uh, have one option, console. Then go to the console option, like see the universal USB, USB port or USB cable. This is the connected USB port. Okay. In the similar way, you will get the communication port number. Communication port number. Set the communication port number and other value will be default. Then open. You will see the console. You will see the uh, CLI mode of your router. CLI mode of your router. Just <clears throat> here, uh, I use EVNG. So EVNG here, um, basically I use the telnet. Just see the left bottom corner, telnet, then this IP and the port number. So if you click this one, open secure security application. Check the font size, appearance. Make it more bigger. Then OK. See here, this is a login prompt. If you see this one, you see this is a host name already configured. And this is the login prompt. If you see this type of window, that means this device already configured. This is not a new device. This is not a new device. Okay. So just login root root one two three. See, but if you access new device. New device user ID will be root, password should be blank. Password should be blank. So after press on the root user root, then play, press the enter, you will get this prompt. First one is the username of this boxes or of this Juniper router then at the rate then a host name user at the at the rate a host name this is the format is uh, actually equivalent to linux operating system okay and last you see the percentage percentage means the shell prompt percentage means the shell prompt okay Okay. Okay. Sorry. So the percentage uh, meaning is uh, you are in shell prompt. Okay. One second. Percentage meaning. Yeah. Percentage means you are in shell prompt. You are in shell prompt. Just consider you have a router. Uh, uh, there is, uh, if you compare with Cisco, there is user mode, there is privilege mode, there is configuration mode, okay? Like this, in Juniper router or Juniper devices, first prompt is, first prompt is percentage. Percentage means shell prompt. Percentage means shell prompt. In shell prompt, you will execute some Linux related command, not the Juniper exact Juniper related command. Just you can put Linux equivalent command. So if I switch from shell prompt to operational mode, shell prompt to operational mode, place the CLI command, CLI then enter cli then enter you will get 
the symbol is greater than is greater than is called is greater than is called operational mode this is basically equivalent to cisco privilege mode is equivalent to cisco privilege mode you will um, execute uh, show command you will um, execute uh, others uh, troubleshoot command like ping trace like this command okay so in juniper boxes uh, you have some help option <clears throat> you have some help option Basically, uh, you just first uh, access the router. You firstly access the router. You don't know enough uh, to run the Juniper operating system. In that case, you can um, get help from this device. Like just I press here, cursing mark. I press here, cursing mark. Shift, then cursing mark. Shift course in mark. So course in mark will show you whose command is available in operational mode. Which command is available in operational mode. See, you can move from operational mode to configuration mode by using the command configure. By using the command configure. You can clear your uh, interface status, your protocol status by using the clear command. File, file related operation, help, help. You can get help from help keyword. So like this, if you set or if you set uh, some uh, configuration, then place the set command set command to configure the devices set command is used to configure the devices so if you just go operational mode to configuration mode there is multiple option configure exclusive and configuration private configure exclusive and configuration private if you enter this just see there is a change here it is scattered then and there is hash. If you are getting hash symbol, you think AOL in configuration mode. It will change anything on that device. Okay. Okay. So there is three mode. One is shell prompt. One is shell prompt. That is percentage. Is greater than is greater than is operational mode. In operational mode, we will uh, execute uh, some show command and some tra some troubleshoot command in uh, operational mode. But we uh, we do not changes anything or we can't change anything in operational mode. If I change some configuration line, then you have to go the configuration mode. So configure. If you just uh, roll back, if you just roll back this scenario, just place, you can place the exit button. Sorry, just exit and enter, you will go operational. Then again exit, then you go the shell prop similarly CLI then configure enter you are in configuration mode so you can move right from shell prompt to configuration mode and configuration mode to shell prompt clear is it clear Hello. Hello.
Are you hear me? Or am I audible? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So if you uh, see the factor default configuration of Juniper router, this is a router, you know, in last class, we'll discuss the router series. Router MX is the router series. So this is a basically router, MX router. So then just, if you see the configuration, OS is already uh, done in these devices. Can I move directly into shell form mode to configuration mode? No, no, no. You cannot move from shell form to directly in configuration mode. Okay. <clears throat> but this is a uh, there is a uh, you, you see the uh, this router have some partial configuration so if you um, access uh, new devices there is no configuration that's why i show you the configuration line which is configured here just place the show just place the show this command will show you all configuration line which is configured, which is already configured, which is already configured. This uh, mode is called the text mode. This V mode is called the text mode configuration. See here, host name, root authentication setting, then create a user enable the services enable the syslog and configure one interfaces configure one interfaces okay so <laughs> if you uh, display that if you place this command show then pipeline display set this command will show you show you the set command mode set command mode if i configure something in juniper router we have to initially put the set command initially put the set command then others command if interface set interface if protocol set protocol okay if firewall set firewall if system set system this way okay so i just remove some configuration if you delete or remove the existing configuration use the delete command delete then set the which option you can delete or which option you want to delete just um, place here delete then your option <coughs> so set here root authentication delete sorry delete and then lab user lab user delete then again see show display set telnet delete uh, there is no host name basically in deep in new device there is no host name so display set for new devices uh, new devices services also show display set this is a default or factory default configuration for new devices this is the factory default configuration nothing configured 
nothing configured in your router. You will configure your router based on your requirement, based on your requirement. Initially, <coughs> you just connect console cable with your PC, then you get this prompt, just you will get share prompt, you will get shell prompt then place the cli then you will uh, you are in operational mode then configure the rental now you are in configure mode now you are in configure mode if i save if i save configuration line in juniper we have to put commit. We have to put commit. Commit is equal to, if you compare with Cisco, commit is equal to write or copy running configuration to startup configuration. is equal to commit. You just want to save your configuration line. Okay. If you place the commit button or commit keyword, if you just write the commit and press the enter you will see same output in new devices missing mandatory statement root authentication you have to configure root authentication without setting root authentication your configured line will not save your configured line will not save so firstly you set the root authentication set system root authentication plain text password then root password is i set here for lab root one two three root one two three then press the commit Yes, configuration is committed. Commit complete. Configuration is committed. So this is the first step. This is the first step in your router when you access the new router. When you access the new router. Okay. So <clears throat> after accessing using the console, you have to put some addresses ip addresses in your um, lan interface or in your management interface to access from remotely you can access through um, telnet you can access through ssh so for this you have to configure the ip address of your interface router interface so see here this is uh, your management interface. Management block is 192.168.81.0 slash 24. This is uh, a uh, EVNG, EVNG management uh, interface block. That is 192.168.81.0 slash 24. So this block is accessible from my physical PC. So if I set one IP from this subnet, I will be accessible from my local PC. I will be access the VMX one from my local PC. Okay. So for this, just set here EM zero uh, or FXP zero. So before setting the IP address, you have to see this interface is coming in your router or not so how to check this if you see uh, or if you compare the with the cisco you uh, in cisco device you will play you will uh, place show ip interface script this command <laughs> will provide you the interface status interface is down or not and whose interface is coming with this router in juniper run show interface 
now I am in configuration mode, right? Now I am in configuration mode. If you place any command, which is actually in operational mode command, so is the operational mode command. I execute this command in configuration mode. So you have to use run. If you compare with Cisco, we use here do, do, right? Do, show IP interface brief like this. So interface starts. This command show you all interfaces which is exist in your router. So I see here, Z is 0 by 0 by 0, Z is 0 by 0 by 0, see here, Z is dash 0 by 0 by 0, gigabit ethernet interface, first in interface and this admin status is up and link status is up. <laughs> so I have another interface FXP0, FXP0, you see? FXB0 interface have no right <coughs> <coughs> no FXB0 interface here right but there is a one interface EM0 EM0 see here EM0 slash FXP0. So EM0 is equal to basically FXP0. EM0 is equal to FXP0. So if you set IP address in a EM0 interface, just choose the uh, choose a single IP address from this subnet. So just Set the IP address. How to set the how to set IP address? Set first keyword is set. I need to set IP address in interface EM0. So interface then EM0. Then help. So I set IP address directly on EM0 interface. I don't make any inter -villain routing or others like this. I directly put the IP address in that interface. This, for this, you choose the unit zero. You choose the unit zero, then family. And there are <clears throat> a multiple family here. So I configure IPv4 addresses. So for IPv4 address, we will use INET. We will use INET. INET means IPv4 parameters. So choose the INET. Then I set here basically address, interface address. Address, then set the address. So interface address and prefix. This is the format. So my address is 192.168.81.200, like 81.0 slash 24. I choose here IP 81.200. So place the enter, then connect. <clears throat> Configuration committed, then you can check from PC, CMD. This IP is accessible or not from your PC. Ping 192.168.81.200. Yes, this IP is accessible. This IP is accessible. How it accessible? Because when I <coughs> install the VMware, VMware create one interface, uh, basically two interface. One interface is 
VMNet 1 and another one interface, uh, interface is VMNet 8. Basically, VMNet 8 is communicating with the router. In VMNet 8, I said here IP address 81.1. So my router IP address is 81.200 and my local PC IP is 81.1. Both are in same subnet. That's why they are communicating. Okay. So I reach 81.200. So take the terminal software putty and set here IP address 200. I want to make exercise with this router. Just open. See here. I will get error, network error, connection refuse, connection refuse. So by default, this device will not enable the SSI service. By default, this device will not enable the SSI service. So I have to enable the SSI service. How to do this? Set system services SSI. Then enter. SSA services now enable. SSA services now enable. Then try. Then restart. Yes. Then accept. Yes. You will get the login prompt. You will get the login prompt. So my user is root and root user password is root123. Get it? I log in. Successfully, I log in successfully. Root and this device is BMX one. In same way, you just place the CLI, then configure. You are in now configuration mode. You are in now configuration mode. But Just uh, I exit the exercise session. Exit. Normally, in Juniper devices, root user not permitted for remote access. For remote access, right? Uh, like uh, SSA telnet is not allowed for root user. So, in my lab, uh, this configuration uh, basically uh, removed. So, set this configuration, set system services, SSIs, then root login, then deny. Root login, deny. Root login, deny, then commit. So, Putty, try to log in. IP is 200. SSS, login prompt is coming. User ID is root. Password is root123. Root123. I put correct password, but access denied. Because Root user currently denied for exercise. So you have to create a user. You have to create a user. So how to create a user? Set system login, then user, then user name. User name is place your lab and class. We have to push the class. Class is just Juniper devices um, by default. There have four classes. By default, they create four classes. Super user have all permission. Super super user class have all permission. And uh, read only, only view. Operator moderate. 
view and other show command they can execute and unauthorized means there have no permission basically so i want to create a user using the class super user super user then authentication plain text password then enter password is lab one two three I have one, two, three. My user credential created. Then try duplicate session. User is lab. Password is lab one, two, three. Yes. Connected. Then configure. Now you connect it as a lab user. This is the device host time. Same as Linux group policy. Perfect. Perfect. Linux group policy. Or you can uh, create a group as you like or based on your requirement. I will show you in separate class for group permission. Okay. <clears throat> so we successfully log in the Juniper devices using our created credential. Okay. First, uh, we want to change the host name. Host name is here VMX1. And this host name is BMX dash one. So how to change this one? Set system host name, then host name BMX one. Then commit. See here BMX dash one. Now BMX one host name changed. Set. <laughs> here ip address of lane interface set here ip address of lane interface interface is interface ge dash zero by zero by zero unit zero family i net because i want to set IPv4 address now. So family I need address. My address is 192.168.1.1 slash 24. This is the gateway. So place here, or you can set here the description. You can set here description. Description, it's a land. So permit. If you see the interface status, run show interface starts. See here, you configure management interface using this IP address. And see here, you configure the LAN interface using this IP address. This IP address is configured. If you check this IP address is uh, okay or not okay, just place here ping run ping yes getting ping if you uh, see like cisco then use rapid command rapid five times ping and automatically close other than this this continuously coming not stop Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> up to uh, now, uh, is there any question? Up to now, is there any question? Uh, 
Hello guys. No. Okay. <clears throat> then I'll basically go with today's module. Today's module is just interacting with Juno's operating system. Common user interface options. Common user interface options. See here, Juno CLI, text based command shell. You need console parameter to connect the devices. Connect the devices. I already shared with you. Available through the virtual console and virtualized devices. If you use VMX, if you use VMX, that means um, you have one virtualization environment. It's maybe VMware ESXi or it's maybe Proxmox. <laughs> you just deploy your router in a VM. So you will get the VM console. Okay, in, virtu in virtualized device. If you think uh, about hardware, you will get the console port. You just connect your console port with your local PC, then access the CLI mode. Also accessible through network ports using an access management protocol. Management protocol. Okay. I already show you the exercise. Setting one IP address and connect Connect the CLI mode through the SSS. Okay. Request network interface and related services configuration. Many Juno's devices include dedicated management Ethernet interface used for out of band. That is called basically FXV0. I also shared. Next. You can also um, access your device through the J wave, Juniper wave. This is basically a graphical user interface, graphical user interface. Normally, uh, Juniper security device uh, is called the SRX device, basically. SRX device are normally accessed through the graphical window. In the, for the graphical window, in back end, uh, we are just enable HTTP or HTTPS. We are just use the browser to accessing the device in graphical mode. So basically, uh, I will uh, fully focus on CLI mode in this course. So uh, I have no basically no interest about graphical window. If you have any um, interest uh, to um, show the graphical window, to show the graphical window, you can ask me. I can just show you the graphical window also. Anyone need to show graphical window also? Or no need? Yes, okay. Then back to my lab. Back to my lab. Then, yes, please. Okay. Default, these boxes have uh, no uh, graphical window feature. SRX device have default graphical window feature. That's why I need to take one SRX device. That means security device of Juniper. So in that case, we just power up this device, stop. Remove the cloud. Connect one switch. So this is Swiss stove save. 
take here one as the next sequence. There's the Rx Juniper next generation. Uh, port is four. Charge GPM Telnet. Okay. Then take the cloud, letter cloud, management cloud, then save. Management cloud is connected like before. Now connect Swiss FXP zero management zero by zero. I also connect management interface FXP zero device Juniper device management port FXP zero Swiss interface gig zero by one. Then connect the cloud gig zero by two. Is there any thin client application for Google Management Excel browser? No, you need browser. You need browser, minimum browser. Mm. So this is the management port. So choose here. Uh, we use here IP address is 200. IP address is here, we use 200. 81.200 here ip is 200 sorry 200 juniper router and set ip 201 201 for juniper security device srx srx okay so power on start. Basically, uh, it will uh, take some time. Okay. Just um, boot. After boot process, I will show you graphical window. Okay. So just uh, for the now, for now, I will go and just continue with my slide. After completing booting, I will back in lab. Okay. <laughs> Juno Swiss automation interfaces. Uh, uh, Juno's device also use the automation interfaces. Okay. For automation uh, concept, for automation concept, they use the three different uh, uh, protocol or three different application. Uh, one is XML API, another is REST API, and last one is Z API. So what is uh, the XML API? XML API, it's basically um, in automation environment. If you automate your Juniper device uh, from the automation server, then you need this one. Otherwise, if you just uh, manually configure your device through the CLI or graphical, no need to enable the XML API. Okay, so <clears throat> just see the Junos XML API defines XML tag element that correspond to all Junos configured statements and many operational commands. So if you just back to uh, our lab and oh wait this will not back shortly so <clears throat> in xml we uh, see in configuration in two mode one is text mode and another is set mode there have another option or another configuration syntax this is called the xml XML format configuration. So in XML format, <laughs> if you uh, send uh, the uh, configuration, send configuration from automation boxes, you can send um, through the RPC remote procedure call through the RPC remote procedure call. 
by using the net con by using the net con you can use uh, ansible you can use uh, um, python both are uh, okay for juniper devices so for only automation perspective you can use automation interface that means uh, it's called xml api and another juno swiss automation interfaces is called the rest api rest means representational state transfer this api enables uh, you securely connect to the juniper device execute trigger procedure calls in rest api they are considering connectivity will be the secure this is web based rest api that means you can uh, connect with graphical window yeah also you know the postman which software is used for testing the api you can also send your configuration through the postman this is called the uh, rest api manner and jet api jet api also used for uh, junosus automation interfaces uh, basically, Z is called Juniper Extension Toolkit. This API provides a modern and programmable programmatic interface for network operators who want to augment Juno score capabilities. Basically, you can deploy Jet application in on boxes and off boxes. On boxes means your device have this feature in inside. And Opbox is you can send uh, from automation server. You can send the automation script in auto from the automation server. <laughs> so Z application can interact with Juno OS through the request and response. Send the request and get the response. You can say also uh, request and reply this way. So this is the OA of or accessing the CLI. So see here, Juno says requires a username and password for access. If this device already configured, this device have user ID and password. So if you log in this device, you need user ID and password. So no root users are placed into the CLI automatically and if just see here amnesic if you see this word in uh, booting process after booting process if you see this one this device have no initial configuration this device have no built-in configuration no configuration is there just there have factory default configuration there have factory default configuration no uh, protocol configured no firewall service configured no services configured nothing configured on this device this is called the amnesia how to access this device just log in as a root password is blank password is blank so you will get the shell prompt then place the cli you will go operational mode and then configure then enter you will go the configuration very simple accessing the cli see here i already show you junosus requires a username and password for access when logging in non-root users are placed into the cli automatically amnesic is displayed in the place of host name for a factory default configuration root user must start the cli from the shell from the shell must place the cli command to starting the cli prompt if srx device for srx device the um, instead of percentage will get tilt sign then hash Tilt sign then hash. This is the routing device and this is the security device. This is the difference between routing device and security device. Initially, you get a percentage for router and you will uh, get a tilt hash for 
भी एस आर एक्स आफ्टर प्लेस इन दी एल आई देन प्लेस द कॉन्फिगर मोड और गो द कॉन्फिगर मोड बाय प्रेसिंग कॉन्फिगर ओके इन सी एल आई मोड दिस मोड इज कॉल द ऑपरेशनल मोड एंड दिस मोड इज कॉल द कॉन्फिगरेशन मोड हैश मीन्स कॉन्फिगरेशन मोड इज गेटर देन मीन्स ऑपरेशनल मोड इन ऑपरेशनल मोड यू कैन एक्सिक्यूट सम ट्रेबल शूट कमांड शो कमांड एंड इन कॉन्फिगरेशन मोड यू कैन कॉन्फिगर इंटरफेस प्रोटोकॉल यूजर everything so who is this the uh, this is a question and answer section um, from juniper education portal so you just uh, say here which automation interface helps to retype operational data in xml asic r json rest api who is mode exist within the juno os in juno os there is configuration mode there is operational mode no commit mode no command mode help options so you are just new in juniper devices you are just new you don't know enough to operate the juniper devices so you need help you need help so uh, how to ask the router how to ask just press the question mark press the question mark they will help you which is which command is available on that position on that position which command is available so like cisco in cisco router we also press the question mark for getting help so if some command you press just command is clear and you don't know what will be the next command what will be the next word for that uh, case you can press the question mark for the help and help other topics like help topic interfaces help topic interfaces address you will get help from this command uh, just uh, how to configure the interfaces how to configure addresses in interfaces help reference interface address so i show you one by one just repeat it okay so go the router see here for security device srx amnesic this device have no previous or uh, some customized configuration no customized configuration is here ms so this box user id is root without any password see tilde sign then hash then press the cli then you are in operational mode then configure then enter now you are in configuration mode now you are in configuration mode so see here fxp0 interface fxp0 interface you have to set one ip address like ip address is 201 set the ip address in fxp0 interface so run show interface starts press the command run show interface starts fxp0 interface is exist or not for check fxp0 interface is exist or not see here fxp0 interface is exist and this interface status is up and link protocol is up so set the ip address set interface interface is fxp0 unit 0 family i net address address is 192.168.81.201/24 then press the commit 
see here root authentication i yet not said the root authentication so my commit is not committed my configuration is not saved so set the set system root authentication plain text password password is root 123 it's only for lab root 123 then commit configuration committed then check this ip is accessible from your local pc or not then 201 yes this ip is accessible from your local machine then try to access this one 192.168.81.201 see here j -Web. this is the graphical window this one vsrs so set here user id and the password one two three login it's a graphical window okay it's a graphical window just uh, I configure interface. So in graphical window, how to do this? Just go to network, then connectivity, then go to interface. You will see the physical interfaces, Z interface. If you configure or see the another interface like loopback zero set here. So just extend this one. You see the multiple unit is configured. So go to the G interface again. So see the status, admin and link status. If you set the IP address in G0 by 0 interface, so go to the logical interfaces. In logical interfaces, set the unit number, set the unit number, unit number may be 0. If I directly uh, set the IP address in G0 by 0 interface, so logical unit number should be zero you can set the description and you can set also the ip address set the ip address then add option then set your ip address like 192.168.2.1 slash 24 slash 24 then press the ok then press the Commit, commit configuration. Your configuration is committed. Commit successfully done. See here, your IP address is configured 2.1 slash 24. Clear? Guys, it's a graphical window. Okay, but in our uh, course, you, uh, I uh, show you every configuration in CLI mode. No graphical. Basically, graphical will mostly use in security devices, SRX. Clear, guys? Yes, you will get. If you just check here, if you just log in through SSH, is there any shell prompt? Is there any shell prompt? Directly you will go the operational mode. Then press the configure, you are in configuration mode. If you telnet or SSH, you know, just a, a remote device, you will get not you will not get basically shell code clear adesh 
Okay. So back to our slide. So first one, I need help. I am a new injury devices. So need help. So how to ask the Juniper device? So the user is root and password is root123. Say nine. Edit. Question mark and enter. Right. Perfect. Just question mark. No need to press enter. Just question mark. Anna. Just question mark. A will show multiple options. Then you choose which one is need for you. Okay. This is the help. So again, just see here command clear. So if I press the command clear, just go the operational mode, clear, then help, clear, then help, then I will get multiple option. I will get multiple option. Just I want to R table, R translation table. So R, then you can set the enter. This entry is deleted. Run show, sorry, show R. There is no entry in table. So that means this entry is clear. Then you can um, get help how to configure your uh, specific parameter. Just uh, you need help like how to configure the address, how to configure the BGP, okay? Is clear command for previous part um, configure right? I don't understand. Okay. Clear command basically use. Uh, basically, we use clear command to clear the uh, like uh, see the interface statistics. And uh, you need to clear your protocol. It's maybe West Web, it's maybe BGP. If you just uh, change something in protocol, uh, you need to uh, restart. You, you need to restart the protocol. You need to restart. So in that sense, uh, you have to place the clear command. Clear, Gautam? OK. So. This is the another option for help. Help topic, then you set the topic name. Help topic, then set the topic name. Just go help. Then you just know, don't know what is available here, what which command is available. So press your topic. Then you can see multiple topics is here. Multiple topics is here. So I want to see OSPF 3. I want to see OSPF 3. Sorry. OSPF 3, uh, like um, voice option, like uh, see here metric. So how to set the OSPF metric? See here. It's basically equivalent to if you compare with linux it's basically man man file man file help file info file this file uh, in linux operating system this file just uh, help the administrator to execute uh, the several command So this is the way out. You can take help from your router. 
no need to go the online no need to go the google <laughs> so this is the help option so another one is the help reference you can also use help reference here is help topic you can also use help reference help reference also show you similar help reference then see here multiple option if you choose the voice <laughs> three, then press um, you see you need to uh, import some policy how to import this one see here multiple example is here multiple example is here so choose uh, uh, read the example and apply your uh, uh, apply your import policy as per your requirement okay so so and this is the help reference and another one is help apropos just edit edit protocol voice 3 you are in version 3 please mute if you so it, um, now i am in OSP version 3 configuration sub portion. So I need help. I don't know how to configure OSP version 3. So I need help for a specific portion. So help apropos. Help apropos. Help apropos. Then set the topic. Topic is OSP 3 nothing so you can set your area yes get this yes in voice web 3 i can set the area set area then set the area id if area id is normal no need to set the special area so this is the multiple options so three different way you can get help from the Juniper boxes or Juniper devices. It's maybe the router, it's maybe um, a security device or services. Okay. So, command and variable completion. Command and variable completion. So, you have um, option to complete your command like uh, set pro i just press tab your total command is completed total word is completed by using the tab no need to write full word no need to write full word it's basically uh, is equivalent to cisco in cisco you can um, configure some uh, character and if you uh, just press the tab this word will be automatically completed set protocol then bz then tab bzp so this is the option you can use set cli complete on space if you uh, or if you just execute uh, no need to use the space bar to complete your um, command and variable normally we use a, a tab to complete command and complete the word this is very helpful so if we complete some command and command keyword we can use tab so this is the keyboard shortcut but is uh, basically less use less use okay just see here you can use uh, uh, some keyboard shortcut keyboard shortcut is uh, just see here cursor position to moving the cursor cursor position so 
first one is default show interface and cursor position control plus b if you press the control plus b that is last cursor position if you place the control plus a this is the first position and if you plus control plus a this cursor is second character from starting and control plus e this is the ending position this is the ending position but this uh, is rarely used uh, this is rarely used you have some description uh, regarding keyboard shortcut basically uh, i i don't uh, basically i don't use this one and <laughs> using pipeline the pipeline is Hello. Are you hear me? Maybe a uh, host have problem. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Co host. Okay. <laughs> Are you see my screen? No. Oh, yes. Okay. So <clears throat> we can use uh, the pipeline um, to filter the, uh, uh, basically filter the output, filter the output. So how to uh, use this one? You just, you see here, show display set. You see multiple output here, multiple output. So if you need only, Z zero by zero interface configuration. So you can say it here. So firstly, show all command syntax is coming. Then pipe display set. These are exactly same, but this is text mode and this is the set mode. If you filter something, use the pipeline use pipeline just in show command you want to filter something like you want to know the interface details of c 0 by 0 by 0 then you can press here mass command you can press here mass command or you can take help you can take help which command is available here which command is available here so see here mass mass then match the command keyword is 0 by 0 yes only g 0 by 0 by 0 interface is coming so this is the pipeline uses this is the pipeline uses why you use pipeline okay in pipeline there have multiple options like display set like display x display xml display inheritance display display detail multiple options okay so pipeline here and just show you multiple command this is the multiple command okay you can see a multiple command to show so this is the uh, course in an answer session after this session we'll see and this is the last section today this is the last section Juno's OS CLI monitoring and troubleshooting commands monitoring and troubleshooting commands see the Juniper operational command hierarchy I set uh, the command show OSPF interface show OSPF interface show then OSPF, then interface. That is more specific. If you move from beginning to ending, ending is more specific than beginning. Okay. In operational mode, in operational mode, OL execute uh, multiple commands. 
like this multiple commands which command we place here in operational mode just exit and commit then just help this is the operational mode command and for monitoring and troubleshooting we use clear monitor m trace ping show trace route this is the common command common command like um, if you see the um, go to the lab then uh, you, you can send icmp packet like 192.168.81.2 yes getting this one then you can send the trust route similarly trust route is basically directly connected there will be no path basically okay multiple command you can uh, press the SSH. Uh, you can press the telnet command okay. okay so command operational mode commands like show version just i execute some command from this uh, table and that will be our this session show version show version this command is used for checking the software version checking the software version i use mx router mx router was version here 14 point something and which software is installed here this is the software and uh, software name and with their version software name with their version so show version if you want to see which version is used in your router or security devices or switches show system uptime this command show you the current time and, and there is also some important um, message in show system uptime you will see the this router is up from 30 minutes 30 minutes okay <laughs> then show system hardware this command show system sassy sorry show sassy hardware this command show you this command show you which hardware is connected with your device like this uh, vmx i have one apc0 that means one line card one line card that have 10 gigabit ethernet port 10 gigabit ethernet port okay so you can uh, see the multi if you uh, see which option is after chassis after chassis see the multiple option you can check power module you can check routing engine you can check the hardware you can check the firmware you can check the fan you can check the alarm okay no active alarm is now so run show chassis routing engine this routing engine see the memory utilization total memory is 2 gb you are using 39 percent cpu utilization ideally is 80 percent means 20 percent use and who is person basically uh, use uh, the CPU, the kernel use kernel, and you will get the another uh, in um, another important information the uptime and the reboot region, basically last reboot region and load average. So show route. This is basically route table. This is basically route table. I configured here only IPv4 addresses. For IPv4 addresses, the route table will be inet.0. Route table will be inet.0. If I configured here IPv6, this table will be separate. This table is called the inet6.0. Inet6.0. Yes. If I configured here MPLS, for MPLS, we see MPLS.0, INET3.0, and you will get separate VRF routing table based on 
VRF name. So there is the multiple routing table in your boxes. If you configure the multicasting, there have another uh, another table. This route have in another table. So show show interface. If I press the show interface, show interface basically show you every interface details which is connected in your device. Okay. If you press here show interface Z0 by 0 by 0, then show you a specific interface details. Okay, a specific interface details. Monitor traffic interfaces. This command monitor the interface traffic in real time monitor interface traffic in real time z0 by 0 by 0 see here uh, no result i forget any result no packet is coming here no packet is coming here so if i send some packet from pc just go to my pc I monitor the Z0 by 0 by 0 interface. So set the IP address here. Set PC uh, PC name. PC name is VPC3. VPC3. Then IP is 192.168.1.3. Uh, sorry, 1.3 slash 24. And gateway is 1.1. Gateway is 1.1. Set the IP address. Set the IP address and save the configuration and send some packet in Z0 by 0 by 0 interface. See here, packet is coming. First is ERP request, then next is ICMP packet, real time packet. Real time packet. Okay. Okay. You can compare with uh, this in uh, TCP dumps or washer. So, monitor back to monitor interface monitor traffic interface monitor traffic interface and another command is monitor interface traffic monitor interface traffic this command will show you real time traffic this command show you real time traffic see the g0 by 0 by 0 there is no packet basically okay if i send some packet from my bpc of my BPC, we send some packet. See here, packet is count. Okay, increasing LFM real time. Okay, so this command show you a real time packet and monitor uh, traffic interface show you a real time traffic analysis. So next file. Next, you uh, set your file. File command is basically used uh, to save your uh, configuration. You can save your specific configuration in the uh, file command. Like if you use um, file compare or uh, just uh, file list, list of file information. If you say the enter. This is the file information currently in my system. Dot login. Dot profile. Dot history. Dot root. And all are in slash root. All are in slash root. If I save some some file, <coughs> just you can um, copy file from your local PC or you can delete your file. So this uh, will be discussed in a later section. In archive section, we will discuss in details in file. So ping command, ping trace SSH. This command already I show you how to uh, send a ping, how to uh, make trace route command, how to uh, enable the SSH in your Juniper devices, and how to check the SSH. Restart this DSCP service. Uh, if you uh, restart your device, then you can push this command. Request system power off and reboot. If you want to reboot your device, you can set the command request. Which command is available after request? After request, there is multiple command. There is multiple command. In multiple command, if you, uh, you want to restart the DSCP, restart the request, 
or restart the DHCP service. Request them just go to the system. If you just press the question mark, you will get the multiple option. Okay, request system. Request system. If you power off the router, press the power off. If you reboot the router, if you reboot the router, then press the reboot. Select the reboot. Okay, so I set here the reboot. Then you can set other options. Other options like oh, when you reboot this router, that, that means schedule or scheduler. Okay. So if I just press this one, router ask me power off, shut down. Power off means shut down. Power of the physical router is equal to basically shut down. <laughs> okay. If you want to reboot, then press the yes, then router will be rebooted system going down immediately see here cli has been replaced by updated version already rebooted firstly they are searching uh, just complete the power on self test then searching the image if the image is um, in correct directory, then press the, uh, just load the configuration, and just load the image with configuration. Your device is rebooted. So guys, this is all for today's. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Now, uh, this for Q and answer section, anyone ask anything. Today's class, and you can also uh, take uh, previous two classes for person answer section. Then how it will get up again if it's uh, remote location and no physical availability yet. Manually, uh, if you power off, manually power on the device. If you uh, are in remote, don't press power off. You can set reboot. Here you are set that in SRX router. The search system would rather than text password instead of plain text password can we use different like other format oh this means plain text password means you your input is plain text but your input is plain text but see here if you see the configuration see here show uh, this configuration root authentication Password is encrypted. See here, I, this plain text means user input will be plain text, but this input text will be encrypted. See here, this is the secret data. This is encrypted. Clear? Gautam? Anyone? I place here plain text, but see encrypted bus. And this is I don't understand this, but this is equal to root one to three. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, if you have an uh, if you have uh, no question, uh, so we can close now. Anyone from CDP Networks? Please close this session. Hello. Okay. Uh, what is major difference between in Cisco and this is the different vendor, guys? Cisco is different and Juniper is different. Why should we consider over Cisco? No, uh, just uh, I compare with Cisco for better understanding. Most of you uh, already complete a CCNA. That's why I uh, compared uh, some uh, idea uh, so that you can uh, clearly uh, understand uh, those topics and things. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Adesh. Okay. okay, now I uh, close the session now. Allah Hafiz.